your bite-sized daily roundup of the biggest news from the world of film. This is The Daily Reel with Van Connor. Good morning, it's Tuesday, March the 30th. Birthday to such legends as Robbie Coltrane, Paul Reiser, Warren Beatty, and Sharknado star Ian Zeering. Nope, totally not an Ian, it turns out. Today's the day the hugely influential Beetlejuice was released back in 1988. It's the day the first Spy Kids movie opened in 2001. In 2007, it was the day Blades of Glory came out. And in 2021, it's the day these things happened. Unhinged star Russell Crowe has joined the cast of director Taika Waititi's forthcoming return to the MCU, Thor Love and Thunder. Crowe's role is currently unknown, but he's no stranger to the world of comic book movies, having previously portrayed Jor-El, the Kryptonian father of Superman, in Zack Snyder's Man of Steel. The Oscar winner joins a cast that already includes a returning Chris Hemsworth and Natalie Portman as Thor Odinson and Jane Foster respectively, as well as newcomer to Marvel Christian Bale set to portray the villainous Gore the God Butcher. The highly anticipated sequel's plot is rumoured to adapt Jason Aaron's Lady Thor arc from the Marvel comic books, which saw scientist Jane Foster struck with cancer and found worthy by the enchanted hammer Molnir, becoming a female version of the God of Thunder. The four-call Thor Love and Thunder is currently set to release on the 6th of May next year. You will give the people of Earth an ideal to strive towards. They will race behind you, they will stumble, they will fall, but in time, they will join you in the sun count. Arrested Development's Tony Hale has signed up to join Aaron Sorkin's forthcoming biopic, Being the Ricardos. Hale will play executive producer and head writer of the classic sitcom I Love Lucy, Jess Oppenheimer in the project, which chronicles a week in the life of iconic comedy duo Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. Nicole Kidman and Javier Bardem are already lined up to lead the movie as Ball and Arnaz, while J.K. Simmons and Nina Arianda have also previously announced as two of the pair's television co-stars William Frawley and Vivian Vance. Alia Shawkat and Jake Lacey join the project with Hale, meanwhile, as members of the show's writing team. And rounding out the cast is Iron Man and MCU agent Coulson, Clark Gregg, along with Nelson Franklin, John Rubinstein, and Linda Lavin. While the real-life children of the film's focus, Lucy Arnaz and Desi Arnaz Jr., are both already on board to executive produce. Being the Ricardos is presently without a release date, though shooting is reportedly scheduled to commence next week. Yes. I was flying, but a little too close to the sun. You let him go in the sun? Get in the back seat, I'll be right out. Front seat, Mom. I sit in the front seat now. The 74th EE British Academy Film Awards have announced that Noel Clarke will be awarded this year's Outstanding British Contribution to Cinema Award. Clarke, who's being honoured for his work as an actor, writer, director and producer, broke out in 2005's revival of Doctor Who and later went on to act in and write Cadulthood, as well as directed sequels Adulthood and Brotherhood. The actor co-founded Unstoppable Entertainment, his own production company, in 2007. Since then, Unstoppable has produced 13 feature films films, and recently broke into television with Sky's successful series Bulletproof. Noel is an inspiration to me and to many others for his central and much-needed role in supporting and championing diverse voices in the British film industry," said Mark Samuelson, chair of BAFTA's film committee. He is a multi-hyphenate who early on in his career has managed successfully to cross the line from respected actor to filmmaker. I cannot think of a more deserving recipient for this year's award. In response, Clark released a statement saying, Thank you, BAFTA, for this acknowledgement and recognition of my work over the past two decades. I will endeavour to continue to make groundbreaking work and open doors for underrepresented people. Clark's award will be presented to him on the 10th of April as part of the BAFTA's opening night ceremony. Well, tell me, this must be Mickey. Here comes trouble. How are you doing, Ricky boy? It's Mickey. Don't listen to him, he's one in your act. You look fantastic. The Boys from Fenkue is added to Movie for today, while on Freeview you can catch Passengers on 4-7, or there's Dan in Real Life, the remake of Pink Panther, Alpha Dog and the Guest on Sony Movies, Jack Reacher and Paul W.S. Anderson's Death Race on ITV4, Scream 2 on 5 Star, Monster Trucks Keeping Up With The Joneses, Bumblebee or Mary Magdalene on Film 4, or even Joss Whedon's Serenity or Hostel Part 3 on the Horror Channel, while the Sky Cinema 
Star and Now TV offering today is the Scott Adkins action has seized. That was the Daily Reel for Tuesday the 30th of March. Keep it cinematic, we'll see you tomorrow. The Daily Reel is a Candy Store production, presented by Van Connor and written by Calvin Prickett. All information is correct at the time of writing, and source links are in the description for each episode. Don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe on all good podcast platforms, or ask Alexa to install the Daily Reel skill for your morning flash briefing. Follow the show on social at Daily Reel Pod, and we'll be back every weekday. Until then, keep it cinematic. Thank you.